Well, I had some uh, good luck here. Um, something I discovered. I was going to use this bar originally in a different manner to mount my motors. And uh, while investigating things yesterday, I found that, interestingly, that this bar, these two holes here, this one right here, you can see, the big one, and the one up here, you can see that one. They both line up exactly, or almost exactly, with the holes that are already in this frame. There's uh, four holes. See, I don't know if you can see those, but you know, got one right here. You got another one over here. Two opposite it. And they actually go into uh, nut certs. These uh, little protrusions right here. And. Uh, so I decided to do something different. I'm going to mount my, I'm still going to mount my my motors to these, but uh, it's going to be done in a different way. I'm just going to essentially cut this bar to length to fit between the frame here, and then uh, just bolt it on through the holes. Uh, you know, I couldn't get any simpler than that. I, I honestly wasn't expecting that, and it was uh, it was quite a nice nice little surprise, but. Uh, it will uh, make things a lot simpler for me on the motors, mounting the motors and everything else. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this uh, bar down and uh, then uh, we can get to uh, bolting things together and doing some more drilling and all kinds of other fun stuff to get these motors mounted onto this frame. So uh, let's get to it. So this frame is about 14 inches wide. I don't know if I can uh, show it to you here, but uh, move that out of the way. You can see about 14 inches wide. If you can see that. So I'm gonna. I need to cut this bar essentially beyond the uh, just beyond the edge of these holes. And I think where I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it to right at the right at uh, kind of right at before the small hole on each side, maybe kind of in the middle or whatnot, and that'll give enough. Uh, enough uh, support for everything for it to go across and I'll just have a couple of small pieces left over so I'm just going to take my square kind of eyeball it none of this has to be exact draw a line across my marker do the same on the other side like that and uh, can carry the line over just kind of free-handed again now this has to be we're not doing precision machining here I mean if you've got the tools to do precision machining and you've got the skills hey go for it and uh, you know some of that stuff I was doing with a hacksaw and whatnot oh man if you had a full tool shop and everything you can do that so much easier use a lathe and a cutoff tool wow that'd be fun fortunately I don't have that I don't even have room for that as <laughs> I got a mess I got a mess I'm trying to clean up gotta get rid of that mess before I can do something like that so uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and start sawing on this and get this done all right, well, I got my uh, got my lines here, got my, my vise in place. I'm just going to put it out here, and uh, again, I'm going to use a handsaw or, or a um, hacksaw on this. I guess it is a handsaw after all, but a hacksaw. You know, now, if I was really, you know, I'm doing this because I'm doing it this way with all these hand tools, because like I said before, I want to make it so that, uh, you know, show that you can do this with hand tools you don't need any uh, real specialized tools or anything um, if I was doing this another way though you know and you could do this certainly yourself if you have the tools and whatnot is I would just uh, I would just uh, fire up my right angle grinder with a uh, cutoff wheel on it and just go straight through this thing like butter um, 
but uh, you know a lot of people don't have that and you know it's a kind of a dangerous tool too you know if you don't know what you're doing sometimes even if you do it can bite you I have uh, I have the scars to prove it so I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, start sawing on this get me a groove started and get going like this all right so I'm almost through this just a couple more and there we go that's one end <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna do the other end and uh, then we'll uh, clean this thing up with a file, cause yeah, it probably doesn't. Well, I like I like clean things up with a file. Makes it a little bit better, a little bit more professional, I guess. <laughs> so uh, I'm going ahead and go ahead and do that, you know. So another option you can do if uh, if you have one, rather than a rather than a hacksaw, is a uh, a fine blade on a jigsaw, a fine uh, metal blade, a metal cutting blade on a jigsaw. Can go through this fairly easily also something like a sawzall can work too i suppose um you know uh i imagine that if you were really brave you could use a uh you could use a circular saw with an abrasive blade on it um but uh i wouldn't recommend that um yeah number of ways you can do this but uh hand tools can do it too so uh let me get this other side done, and then uh, we'll get to filing. All right, so we have both ends done now. Here's the two pieces that came off. And uh, all we're going to do is uh, take a file to this and kind of clean up the uh, rough edges. And uh, then we can uh, try, a, try a test assembly, a test bolting, I guess. See how it works. And, uh, Get my file. Whoa. Ah, the joys of working in a uh, crowded workshop. Full of junk. <laughs> so I'm just going to get rid of some of these rough edges. Doesn't need to be like anything super. Just want to get rid of, want to get rid of some of these rough edges. Mainly because, you know, you can find yourself later just uh, working on something and all of a sudden you get a cut and you don't wonder where it's coming from. And usually it's from something like this, something that you've cut up and cut through the hacksaw. And I always do that. I'm not sure why that is. Too many handles everywhere. Alright, so let's do the same on this other side. And, uh, yeah, one of the nice things about, uh, one of the nice things about using a hacksaw, though, over other, other methods, or just about any saw, to be honest, a grinder, a grinder with a cutting blade and everything, you make this really hot. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can get surprised at, uh, oh, you know, I'm working on something, oh, burn yourself, you know. So, uh, you know. Using a saw is kind of a little bit more, a uh, little bit more cooler as a temperature process. So uh, there we have it, just uh, real basic, just like that. And uh, we can just uh, grab our frame over there and uh, put these pieces of metal. I don't know if I'm going to need them again. I think I'll keep them over here. Just in case I do. Try not to throw just about anything away because you never know when you, just whenever you think you don't need it, that's when you do. So, I'm gonna put this and sit it right there and yeah, it just matches right up. I'm gonna couple these bolts, couple these bolts here. I believe, I believe that these are just standard, uh, standard, uh, quarter inch by uh, 
20 thread or whatnot, you know, basically the same kind of, uh, same kind of thread and everything that you find on, uh, that you find on, uh, camera equipment for, for tripods and whatnot. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm looking for my screwdriver here. I know I have one. Or I did, ah, oh, there we go. Put it away, Andrew. Just, just put it away. Well, I can just, uh, Tighten these down as a test fit. Probably won't be using these screws. Probably going to be using like, actually something shorter. Maybe something like uh, something like that screw. It's same uh, same thread and everything, but much shorter. I just got to find a just got to find a match for it somewhere. I know I have one. And uh, this other one, I you know I can't believe my luck on this. I mean this this was just it was like I was looking at it and it was just wow. This is gonna fit together just perfect. All right, so there we go. And that's that's basically it right there. You know, so yeah. So we're going to uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, actually going to have to drill some holes into this in order to mount the in order to mount the. Uh, motors to it. We're going to use a couple L brackets uh, through uh, some holes on the motor and uh, then uh, mount it up and then we've got to build some uh, bearing blocks that will go over here on each side. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be this one or it's going to be this top one uh, but it's going to have some bearing blocks in order to uh, support the end of the shaft of the motor and uh, you know then we'll, then we'll basically just go from there Oh, we also, the other thing we also got to do, actually before we get to that, is I need to uh, cut the sheet metal to fit across this. So um, I'm going to just use uh, use this bar here as a, a straight edge in order to cut that sheet metal. And uh, for that, I am probably going to use a jigsaw. Um, well, I could do it with a, uh, with a hacksaw. It would probably take me a little bit too high. Yeah, well, I don't know. I might give it a shot. We'll see what happens. So go from there. Okay, so we got a couple pieces of these uh, aluminum sheet here. And uh, what we're going to do, I'm just going to mark right here, just inside the lines, because it's going to sit inside this frame. I'm going to mark it. And uh, then take a square and put it across it, and then, well, I'm going to cut it out in some manner. I'm going to probably try initially uh, something like a, a scoring kind of uh, uh, kind of a method, where I'm going to take I'm going to take this, and uh, with the with the length of what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bar across wherever it goes, and then I'm going to take my hacksaw. And I'm going to go kind of basically flat against the against the metal, against the sheet metal, and uh, hopefully I can score it down deep enough to maybe half the maybe not half the thickness, but a little bit of the thickness, and then do the same on the other side and uh, reduce the thickness right there at that line, and then I can just take take a you know pair of pliers or maybe even my hand and just kind of bend it and bend it back and forth a few times and snap it right off. So I'm going to give that a shot and see what happens. All right, so I got my square here. I'm just going to uh, get it all lined up. Bottom of the square is on the inside of this frame. So we can just make a line mark across it. Just enough to be able to see it. Doesn't need to be anything special. And uh, if we cut on the inside of that line, then uh, or make our score mark or whatnot, then it should just drop right down into the middle. All right, well, it came quicker than I thought, but I decided to go ahead and use those small little pieces to uh, act as hold downs on this uh, piece of aluminum because I needed more room for uh, my saw blade to travel than the uh, larger piece that I cut out would actually allow me. So I'm just going to essentially go like this and kind of draw it back and forth just 
flat on the plate. Steady it. I'm not going to try to saw through this because that won't work. But I am going to try to make a nice groove in it. That's the whole idea. We definitely got a bit of a groove, maybe more at the ends than uh, anything else. And I doubt I can, I doubt it'll allow me to, yeah, that ain't, uh, I don't know. This may not work after all, <laughs> mainly because uh, the center of the saw is not really pressing down on the metal. Not much anyhow. More concentrated on the ends than anything else. Got a little bit of a groove in the middle, but again, it's mostly on the ends where more pressure can be applied. So, yeah, got a little bit of a groove there, but. Uh, Doubt that. Yeah, I can't even. Yeah, that's not. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I think in order to do this, I'll probably have to. Uh, I'll probably have to actually uh, saw it in some manner. So. Uh, yeah, that was a good experiment, but it uh, didn't quite work out. So uh, we'll try sawing it. All right, so actually uh, sawing it isn't actually working out too bad, even with a handsaw. This thing over here is kind of getting in the way, but uh, I've already got, you can see I already got about a three quarter inch groove there. So I was testing things out. And uh, I'll just go slow. Don't have to go really fast or anything. So all we have to do now is uh, clean up this edge with our file and uh, do the other one. Let's see how this fits anyhow. Do that first. All right, well, here's our uh, frame again. Let's set that there. Probably see it all maybe. Put that there and uh, yeah. Well, it looks like we need to do just a little tad bit of filing just a slight bit long but uh, yeah you can just fit it in there like that actually that's just fine to be quite off to be quite off honest that's just fine a little bit of a uh, little bit of extra a little bit of extra doesn't hurt anything and maybe once we file down those uh, rough edges it won't be that big of a deal anyhow so uh yeah there we are there we are with that do the other one and then we'll move on from there